Hello, this is Wilma Takuz, and welcome to another Stories from Sector 8 video, the sort of podcast that I do when I talk about Warhammer 40k, or Warhammer Fantasy, if I play that, which I haven't played that in a long time. Uh, the reason you haven't seen any videos of that is because I don't play it. Um, there was a group of fantasy players in my area, which is why I got into fantasy, and then it just sort of died off, so haven't haven't really been doing that. Um, this video is very late. This is done on a game that happened at like at least two weeks ago but I haven't every time I, I every time I think to, to try to record this I get busy and uh, I haven't played any game since this one so it's 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 old but it's not like it's 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 still the most recent game I've played you know what I mean um, I played against the uh, dark Eldar player again I don't, did I did I remember to tell the one about how I had my Jinxie of the Colts come out and kill his one unit? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Um, I played against a Dark Eye player because we wanted to do another match. We played another 2,000 point game and this time I played nothing but orcs. And it, it didn't happen like the last one. I, again, I, I'm, I'm going by the, by the memory that I did tell that story. But uh, it, it wasn't as short as that one, but it was... It was Pretty much equally one-sided, but not for me this time around. Um, basically, he put just about everything he had on the table except one unit in, a, in one of his boats. And everything else he had was in a boat because he doesn't foot slog anything. He puts everything in boats. And basically what happened is he, he just he gunned me down. He, he, he was worried about fighting orcs because he said he didn't have the firepower to deal with them. He did. He really did. Um, most of my orcs were foot slogging. That's kind of how I play orcs. So he was, he was just, he puts his dudes in boats and he buys this upgrade for the boats called Splinter Axe, which makes all of his splinter weapons, which is what everybody is carrying inside the boats, twin linked. So he was able to just, if there were a unit of 20 boys, he would take one boat and, and kill like 15 or, or all, all of them. It's just, it's what he was doing. He was just going, shoot, 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 dead, 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 dead. I couldn't get anything in close. Um... I only was able to declare one charge during the entire course of the game, and that was turn three. If you're playing orcs and you're only charging by turn three, you're in trouble, and that's that's really what happens. Um, I couldn't get close enough to charge. I brought some vehicles, but he he had units that were able to hurt vehicles and did. Um, I I had I had a burner bus, which I told him was a burner bus. He shot that down immediately. Didn't last past turn one. Uh, the other that I had a second truck, which he just shot down afterwards i had a dreadnought which he immobilized and then took the one range weapon off of in, in the the same shooting he got two pens and he got weapon destroyed randomly rolled the one range weapon and then he rolled the mobilization so it was useless um i had killer cans but he never shot them because they were never getting close enough to do any significant damage and uh it really it really was very very one-sided for him um i couldn't get close enough to do any harm and I had some pretty bad roles during the course of the game. Um, he he was a very arrogant player. He he usually is. He's very very cocky. Um, he expressed um, what what emotion would this be? I don't know. Uh, confidence that that I what I did is is I brought rockets in my in my foot slogging unit so that I could pop his boats. And he he expressed confidence that oh I'm only with skill two. Orc, sh orc shooting is is pathetic and. If you say that about orc shooting, you've never experienced orc shooting. Not really. Um, I have seen orc shooting that that is better than tau shooting. Because when orcs when orcs want to, they are very good shots. Remember the thing about the orc codex is we we love DACA. We're just not good shots. We love DACA. Guns are very very high things in orc society. But uh, uh, and it's funny the the same turn he said that that I was I was not playing it right for, for relying on my orc rockets, I immediately just turned one of his boats. My two rockets he went into his vehicle, he said, I won't jink, you won't hit me. Roll two hits, roll two pens, gone. It's gone. Boom. <laughs> and and, and, and I, I told him, like, this this happened turn three, I think, and I told him, like, this is what I've been trying to do all game, and if my dice had been better, this would have gone differently. Because once I pop his boats, I can catch him, but I, I only destroyed one boat during the course of the game, and that was a problem. I just... 
He was he's too fast for me in those boats. I can't catch him, man. I couldn't lock him in combat. Really, all this one comes down to. Um, I could get my list out and, and, and say everything I brought and say everything he brought, but it really doesn't matter. It was it was a 2,000 point game that really only went one way. Uh, I couldn't charge until turn three, and as an orc player, that's it. That's really all I have to say. Couldn't charge until turn three. Uh, did not have the strength to, to slog across the table. Um, I should have brought more vehicles, but but. He's like he's yeah he's one of those guys where he's like he, he'll complain he would have complained if I brought a bunch of vehicles because his response would have been oh I can't deal with those but then when I don't bring vehicles his response was you should have just brought more vehicles <sighs> whatever if I had brought both my battle wagons I'm sure he would have had a lot more issue with it but I decided to foot slug because that's usually how I play orcs anyways and he had a lot of firepower splinter racks are, are, are yeah I'll say overpowered. I'll cross that line. I think they're overpowered for, for how cheap they are. They give an entire unit twin link like that. Uh, if I could do that on my tower, that'd be great, but I can't. Um, Dark Eldar are, are... Hmm. I'm thinking about the comparison, and I'll say yes. Dark Eldar are better shooters than Tau. They're better shooting codex than Tau. I'd go that far. Yeah. Yeah. Dark Elder are a strong codex. They just have one primary weakness where they can't hurt vehicles very well. But they are the best against monstrous creatures in the game. So, it, it, whatever. They pay for themselves. They pay for that, that, that negative benefit. And when they do, I have seen firsthand now that they do have something that they can deal with vehicles. Dark Reapers and stuff. So, you can't tell me the, the option's not there. Because it is there. It may not be great, but it's there. They have an answer to it. So, Alright. Thank you all for listening. I know this is a short one, but it... It was a very frustrating game. It wasn't that enjoyable to play. Um, there probably won't be another story for another week or two. Uh, hopefully when we come back, I will be playing my Gene Steeler Colts because I have bought a bunch of models for them and I have enough points now to actually play play uh, 1,000 points or 1,500 points. Can't do 2,000 yet, but I'll get in there. One day. One day. Thank you all for listening. This is Wampatakis signing off. Bye-bye.